Well, things are starting to heat up here, and I got to say, I am loving what's taking place, but I want to get into the mind of Sven because he is the architect of XQC's base, so we've got our in-game oh. reporter, Crumbs, ready to talk to Sven. Hey guys, I'm here with Sven, the grand architect behind XQC's base. So much credit has to go to your design of this base, being able to survive the helicopter attacks. Where did you learn to design a base that was so good at defending? <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you, first of all, for, uh, for saying that. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I've, I've been building for a very long time and this base is actually something I've just came up with on the on the spot. I was actually traveling to Africa for three weeks, three, four weeks, and I got back three, six hours before the arrival started. So the only thing I prepared was the footprint and the rest was just magic. Wow, so you had a, I, there's a lot to unpack in that. First, you had a footprint that you came up with before the event even started. That is really yeah. impressive already that there's so much thought behind this base. And the second thing is, what were you doing in Africa? What was that, like three weeks there? That's an experience that many people would love to have. Yeah, yeah vacation, man. I was honored to be to be invited, and then I heard that I was coming back the same day. And I was kind of worried because I was building, and I had to build a base for 40 people that... You know, can withstand all this stuff and has space for 40 people and all the loot. So it was quite a challenge, but it worked out pretty well. All right, I got a few more questions. If you had any advice to somebody that wants to learn how to build a base, where should they focus their efforts? I think that most of the experience for building is just by playing and trying the game like just try stuff and don't don't be scared to to make mistakes that's basically what i'm doing too i'm, I'm just building on the spot and if if something is not right you know you learn from it and you do it better next time and if you have teammates uh, i'm dropping all the ask your teammates for feedback and drop boxes. that's basically how you can keep keep rolling yeah. that's what i do yeah <laughs> It's awesome. Trend Practice by experience is the best way to learn. And the last thing we've heard, I, I mean, I heard from some people that are like, this base is confusing. What do you got to say to your own teammates that are saying that the base is confusing? <laughs> are they just bad? That they don't know, they don't understand it, genius? We're trapped. What? It, it happens when a base gets a certain size, to be honest. Like, I've built a lot of bases this size over the last couple of years, and I've always heard that. It, it's just a thing that happens. It's... It's a good thing, because if the base is confusing yeah, to us, yeah, it will 100% be confusing to Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great point. Thank you so much for wrong. taking the time to do the interview with me. I won't take more of your time. you got to go back to raiding and defending and building as well. So thank you, Sven, and good luck oh, on this, this day and here? the next ones. Any extended mags? Thank you. Thank you very much. The compound? All right. Anyone? That's going to be it. All right, that was the Verizon checkpoint. And thank you so much to Sven for checking in with us. And Ayn, I, I kind of wanted to go back and recap that interview we just had a little bit earlier. Yeah, it was really interesting to hear Sven talk about how he came up with the design for the base. He mentioned how he had a footprint going into the event. Love to hear it. Uh, unfortunately, a few complaints from his teammates saying that it was uh, it's, it's a little confusing. But to his point, when a base gets to that scale, uh, there's just not many ways you can manage it anymore. And you know what? Hey, if it's confusing for you, imagine how confusing it is for someone that's raiding you. Hey, if... I don't know sure. what I'm doing. How can my enemies know <laughs> what I'm doing? You know, <laughs> that hey, look, that is a fact, isn't it? And that's life too, man. You uh, you don't know what you're doing. Well, no one else is gonna know what you're doing too. If that, whether that's the best policy or not, that's the policy that's working. XQC has defended, or at least the team of XQC has defended their base successfully now two times today. So I must say, I am very impressive. But they did take a tumble when they lost that scrap heli. Shout out to uh, Graf G for that wonderful uh, headshot.